Hey guys, it's Merlini with another episode of Mad Rares with Merlini. This is for the November 14th playday. So the first one that we have is LGDN versus Rising Stars. They were actually supposed to play the other day, but Rising Stars had someone with a fever on their lineup, 357, also known as QQQ, so he was really sick and unable to play, so they had to forfeit the match. It wasn't actually a 2-0 by LGDN, it was a forfeit win. And my odds for that one were 75-25, and it hasn't changed um, too much since then, but LG didn't have been looking really strong after they pick black, black heroes, which is not Ursa, not Pudge, pretty much just the anti-mage, the lone druid, the Luna, those are his heroes, and they have just been looking very consistent after that, and they actually upset Tong Fu, and generally they outperform, uh, their weaker opposition, they usually don't drop to those, and, uh, I think I'm pretty comfortable that LG Dent will take this 2-0, or at least not lose 0-2. I definitely think that uh, Rising Stars has less than a 30% chance to win 2-0 versus LG Dent, so I'll be putting my rares on LG Dent. And next one that we have is IG versus Tong Fu. And IG somewhat remind me of Na'Vi now. When they are hot, they just demolish, and wondering they leave you wondering why you would ever put your rares against them. Uh, but when they are losing, they're just wandering around doing strange things as if they haven't played Dota in a week and they just pick funny heroes. So um, luckily, IG is on a pretty hot streak recently after just absolutely crushing uh, Vici in a pretty much heads up. It was 50-50 matchup. Um, Tong Fu were hot in late October. They were cold pretty much last week and now they're like starting to warm up a little bit but zsmj still doesn't exactly mesh too well with the team and i think he's still a liability on tong fu and because of that i don't see tong fu taking this 2-0 i will be betting on ig um because it's the best of two i feel pretty safe i think there is a less than one third chance that tong fu will win 2-0 versus ig but this one's pretty close i'm uh, much less comfortable about this than this much less than uh, much more than five percent less comfortable anyways uh this Awake versus FD in the RGN League, it's a best of one, like, who knows, I don't know these teams, FD was Miracle's old team, but I know almost nothing of Southeast Asian Dota, and I will not pretend to, so I actually asked Gods, David Parker, on Skype, what he thought about this matchup. I said, do you know anything about this FD versus Awake matchup? I know FD is weak without Miracle, but I have no clue about either, really. Looking for your advice. He said, hmm, 65-35 FD favored. Haven't seen Awake in ages. Don't know their current roster, though. And I asked, are they still good without Miracle? He said, not really. It's a dicey matchup. And I'm just purely trusting what God said. And I'm just going to bet on FD because it's actually much closer to 50-50 than uh, these odds suggest. 47-53, I think, are with uh, like the commons and stuff. Anyways, so next one we have is Navi versus VP. This is a best of three. Yesterday, they faced off in a best of one, and VP actually won, even though they were pretty big underdogs, so 75-25 there. And this just is a headache of a matchup to bet on. And they just, both teams are just very inconsistent, like at least the last few days. Like, blow your brain on Carry Venge, bet on Navi. Dendi Magnus, bet on VP. A light of heaven on anything other than Darkseer, bet on Na'Vi. And then a voice on Carry Bounty Hunter, bet on VP. Who knows whether or not either of these teams will bring their A game. And I'll just present you facts and you can use these to your benefit. Na'Vi went 1-1 one and one versus EG um, just the other day. And EG played very well that day. So, uh, yeah. Na'Vi lost 0-1 versus VP in a game that just snowballed out of control from an atrocious early game. Dendi was on Magnus and... Yeah, that's almost all the story, um, but Blow Your Brain's Morphling just got out of control, and Na'Vi did actually hang in there pretty well, considering how farmed the Morphling was, so I was a little bit surprised at the resilience, they didn't just like crumble and fall. Um, also, whether it be from lack of sleep, poor drafting, Na'Vi have been underperforming lately, and on the side of VP, they were doing actually pretty well versus Liquid in the early game, in the 68-32 matchup, and... Uh, they just make really poor mid-game decisions, and sometimes they just draft really strange heroes. Like uh, Silencer, I thought was a really poor pick yesterday. Uh, they've done the carry event before, which I also thought was not a good pick. Um, but sometimes they use unconventional heroes really well, like Disruptor and Darkseer combo and um, Shadow Shaman on Arzart, I believe, usually plays it. Uh, it's a best of three, and it's still a group stage match. Uh, best of three means I would slightly favor Navi because 
Um, they are more consistent over three games, and VP is less consistent. And group stage match is like, eh, Navi usually just doesn't care about group stages. I'm leaning towards Navi though, because VP doesn't often upset large favorites and best of threes. Um, I might just not bet on this one. This one, I don't feel comfortable <laughs> really betting on. Um, but initial um, asterisk is to Navi. I'll be looking, I'll be monitoring the odds too. Yesterday, the odds changed like 5% when I woke up, which doesn't usually happen. And the last one that we have is VP versus EG. Um, odds are pretty much 50 50. Um, my odds, I actually would give EG like 56 to um 44 favorite eg have actually been looking really good they have had had ddos issues or connection issues for the past few days so they actually haven't been playing that much but um i'll be waiting on the navi vp result if vp just gets crushed i'll bet on eg and this is the first time this has probably been said but eg is by far the more consistent team in this matchup they've been looking really good once fear has been put in that carry role and uh, they have their off games now and then but their throw potential is almost non-existent now and like in the past week and their off games are few and far between so in this um best of three matchup i will definitely favor eg even though they're the underdog so thanks guys for watching mad rares with merlini if you like my videos you can subscribe to me at youtube.com slash merlini dota i also post updates to um facebook and twitter.com slash merlini dota and last but not least you can find my personal stream at twitch.tv slash merlini dota thanks guys for watching